hey guys, um, I know that last video got cut short on the emery rat snake in his cage, so I'm going to show you right now. Uh, what I did here was I took a 45 gallon uh, Sterilite tub and I cut a hole in the top and then put some mesh over it and nailed it down with some 2x4s. That I yeah, it's awesome. The 2x4s keeps the mesh from slipping. It's really sturdy. He hasn't escaped before except for once where a mouse chewed through right there, and, but I put a piece of duct tape there and it's worked forever. Alright, now this video is actually about my tree frogs that I have. I've got five. I've got five individuals, three species. This is the case right here, which is natural. Tiger balls are that tiger balls are underneath to the moisture as well. I use cocoa fiber as substrate. And now I have some bees and bromeliads for them. First frog is right here. This is a tiger like monkey frog. He's kind of a purplish color. I don't know how well it's going to show up on the camera. Or, kind of looks like it's showing up. So. Oh. Thing with frogs, they jump. In reality, though, this species isn't the best jumper. They won't prefer to climb around like a monkey. As you can see here, what I really want to show you is his legs. because I made this video once already, but I tried to combine crested video and tree frog video, and it went far too long. This guy is quite the jumper. He can jump as far, if not further, than my squirrel tree frogs. And they're three times his size. Okay, actually, look there. That's what I mean by climbing. Just grab down there and come dry it up. Let's see those legs. These guys were kind of an impulse buy, but and for maybe a day or two I kind of regretted buying them but after I watched them crawl around at night uh, I fell in love with them I was so glad I bought them oh, this guy is not cooperating cool. these guys are cool they are Hyla something. I should I think I'll check for you. On my guitar, because I play guitar and stuff. I have a sticker which has some frogs on it. In there. Hyla Ebricata. Or at least that's what they were when that sticker was made.
figure if I move the camera slowly forward, it won't notice. Cool frogs. That'd be a cool picture. Thanks, Cole. And these guys like it really moist. Being from Costa Rica. Costa Rica is very moist, very humid. So they like it like that. Next is my roll tree frogs. These guys are also wild caught from a long time ago before I really realized that was not before I realized it was not good to do wild caught. But yeah. Right now I'm actually spraying my baby crested geckos, but I'll include those in another video. So you'll just have to wait. Okay, now for school to close. These guys are some of the underappreciated frogs of the American Hyla. They're Hyla squirrella, squirrella. Most people, when they think American tree frogs, think Hyla versicolor or uh, Cinera for green tree frogs and gray tree frogs. But these guys are really cool. They change color and first one is female. She's almost always green, but, I mean, they can all change colors, but this girl's most often a green color. I have males and females, yet they have not bred. They have been chirping and croaking for three years, but no Amplexus. I don't really know what she makes. I don't really know what she makes of seeing herself in a the mirror. There we go. And she makes, these guys are really uncooperative when it comes to filming and taking pictures. As you can tell. move when I say it will stay right there. It's like they know. Oh. Maybe it should just not stay right there. It's very, very, very uncooperative. There, you got a good look at it. Now I'm back. Do the key. I don't want to go. He's on my elbow. There we go. Alright, now the last one can be kind of hard to find. He disappears for a long time. Or long periods of time and then I see him again and I'll see him every day for I don't know a month and then I won't see him 
again for two weeks. I don't really know where he goes, where he hides. I think he might be burrowing. The first time we did it, I thought I had lost him for a long time. Let's find this guy. If possible. Strange little frog. I'm convinced he's burrowing, but burrowing is strange behavior for. Oh, he's not burrowing. There he is. The underside of this leaf. That one right down, right down there is the male. I think I've got two females. This is actually the lightest I've ever seen this guy. Cricket escaping. Cut. No, lost it. Got it. Okay. Little bit of money. You ran into the distinct. The video shall be over. If I can get all these guys in one place, actually. They're very uncooperative frogs. heats up a little bit, and then, well, not once it heats up, it's really warm, actually, right now. Outside, it's been 80, 80s, it's been in the 70s or 80s the past week, or the past two weeks, but once the nights get a bit warmer, like, once it stops dropping into the 70s, I mean, once it stops dropping into the 60s, I will open the windows in here and let these guys get some night air. Maybe get to hear some green tree frogs and gray tree frogs out calling. Alright, just in case I can't get the third one. There we go. That was cool. I just turned it the exact same way.
Okay. Thanks for watching. I know it's a long video, but. I figure if it's a long video, then it's a long video, and people can skip forward if they really